So how many pills are just too many pills? Here's some interesting stats. Nearly 59% of Americans take at least one prescription drug. 15% take more than five. And don't forget the over-the-counter prescriptions. So Dr. Kevin Campbell is joining us now to explain why so much medication be so dangerous for our health. So what are the risks associated with taking multiple medications to begin with? You know, certainly when we start taking and mixing medications, mm -hmm. both prescription and over-the-counter, you know, there's a lot of risks involved, a lot of interactions that you may not know about, particularly if you're taking and over-the-counter medications with prescription medicines that your doctor may not know about. And so there's, you know, side effects that we just may not see until, you know, something really significant happens. So what are the most commonly prescribed drugs? The ones that we see the most are antidepressants, high blood pressure medicines, medicines for cholesterol, and actually opioid painkillers. So if you think about the opioid crisis in the U.S. today, you know, more people died of drug overdoses this year than died of uh, motor vehicle accidents. So what can we make, do to make sure that there's no interaction? You know, one of the things you can do is certainly keep a list, talk with your pharmacist. You want to make sure that you understand why you're taking each drug. However, there's actually some really neat applications that you can use on your iPhone or your pad that actually can help you determine. There's one called My RX Profile, and it's free. You can download it, and it's really cool because it scans in your medicine, it scans in a picture of the UPC code, and it can alert you immediately if something that you're already taking interacts with another drug. You know, these drug interactions account for an amazing amount of ER visits every year, particularly in older Americans who mm -hmm. sometimes are taking nine and ten pills. Sure, and some of it, as you mentioned, is over the counter. And the other thing I'm sure you would say is don't be afraid to ask your pharmacist. Absolutely. You know, these pharmacists are so well trained and they want to help you, they want to engage with you. Make sure you involve your pharmacist, your physician, and, you know, use a mobile app like MyRx Profile. These are all tools that can keep you healthy and out of the ER this year. Yeah, it's easy to become to not become a statistic if you just do your homework. Exactly. All right, Doc, thanks so much. Thank you. If you'd like to read more about this, just go to our website, WNCN.com. There it is on your screen. If you've got any ideas for Dr. Campbell, you can email us there as well. All right, guys, we have had a 